Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you for a video walkthrough on board a 2018 Leopard 40 owner's version. The boat's currently located in Brunswick, Georgia, although she will be making her way down to South Florida. I'll have the full spec sheet in the description down below, but this is a really, really nice example of the Leopard 40 owner's version. It's got the uh, newer style master that came out in 2018. Um, it's got an asymmetrical spinnaker, freshwater electric heads, water maker, less than 100 hours on the generator, right around 300 hours on the motors, all in all a boat in like new condition. Well, let's go ahead and jump aboard. Okay, let's go ahead and jump aboard Caddy Wampus. First thing I'm gonna show you is here over on the starboard side, we've got the first of two mechanical spaces. Boat's got just over 300 hours on the motors. They are the upgraded Yanmar diesels. You can also see the underwater lights there. All in all, a really well maintained mechanical or clean mechanical space. I'm gonna shut that. Got the cockpit here. The cockpit cushions that were made in Fort Lauderdale. We'll come back around to the cockpit though. A few steps up on the starboard side brings us to the weather deck. We've got one electric winch. We've got the helm station here with a full set of Raymarine electronics. These are the upgraded, this is the upgraded electronic package. So we've got autopilot, tri data, chart plotter, radar, AIS. We've also got a fusion control panel. This boat's equipped with the automatic fire suppression system, and all the sail control lines lead here to the cockpit. Great visibility both forward as well as aft for when you're docking the boat. It's worth pointing out she's got four 100 watt solar panels that are the uh, walk-on type gonna make our way up the starboard weather deck nice and wide with a good grab rail she's got a jib on a um, roller furler nice big single piece trampoline you can see they've got four deck cushions made as well for the boat and fusion stereo speakers up forward as well. I'll point out the mast here. The boat is equipped with a square top mainsail. And you can see the Raymarine radar right there. I'm gonna pop across the foredeck here. Kind of do a quick pan of the uh, forward lounge area. Good shine in the uh, gel coat. The bottom was just painted on the boat back in uh, July of this year. So she's got fresh bottom paint. Oh, also I'm gonna point out there, that's the block for the asymmetrical spinnaker. Port sugar scoop, we've got the swim ladder, as well as the second mechanical space through there, which mirrors the starboard side I already showed you guys. We've got plenty of storage in the cockpit. Boat's equipped with a high fuel tender and a 15 horsepower Tahatsu outboard. It also comes with a stand up paddle board too electric dinghy davits like you find on all of the leopards and a propane grill over on the starboard rail as well give you guys kind of a quick pano through the uh, cockpit here let's go ahead and pop inside and take a look in there okay making our way into the salon i mean that's one of the things that's so nice about the leopard 40 is it's just a really nice large salon for a 48 uh, for a 40 foot catamaran over to starboard, we've got the main panel, which you'll see up top, we've got the Magnum inverter charger, the Spectra water maker controller, Raymarine uh, VHF, the generator with only uh, 87.8 hours on it, the 12 volt distribution panel, and then aft we've got the uh, 110 distribution panel, the Dometic air conditioning controls, and then the uh, Fusion stereo here. Starboard Ford, we've got the L-shaped galley, which is a forward-facing galley with a three-burner stove, oven and broiler, and then plenty of storage, not just in the cabinets, but also in the floorboards below. You can see the Ford cushions there, as well as the pass-through to the uh, Ford cockpit. We've got a forward-facing nav station on the port side, and you can see they've got all of the manuals and all of the maintenance records on board the boat. Port aft, we've got a nice L-shaped settee with a table that not only lowers and raises, but also opens up for indoor dining. 
making our way down the port companionway. We've got our first of two guest staterooms. So it's a semi walk around berth. It's nice and overcast today, but a lot of natural light coming into the boat through the window aft, the window on the outboard side, as well as the opening port portal on top. Good storage in this guest stateroom with like, you know, hanging lockers, that sort of thing. Midship on the port side, we've got the guest head, which is a separate shower stall forward, vanity and mirror, single basin sink, and then electric head aft. Port forward, we've got the second of two guest staterooms, storage beneath the berth. You can see there the filler cushion for the salon table, so you can convert the salon table into a bed, and beyond that's the four peak. There's also plenty of storage in the hanging lockers on the outboard side. Let's go ahead and make our way across the salon. Take a look at the master stateroom. So as we come down the starboard companionway, You'll see this has got the new style uh, master stateroom with the much larger opening and the semi walk around berth. Lots of natural light on the boat. We've got a telescoping, 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 telescopic television that you can watch from either the, um, the, the vanity or you can watch it from the berth. On the outboard side, we've got a small desk that opens up as well as we've got these large drawers for storage on the outboard side and a really nice large hanging locker. And then forward of that, we've got the uh, master head with the toilet on the outboard side, single basin sink, the shower stall, and then forward of that, we've got the factory installed washer dryer combo unit. A lot of natural light here in the master stateroom. So this is the 2018 Leopard 40 owner's version Caddy Wampus of the spec sheet in the description down below. If you have any questions on the boat, please leave a comment down below, shoot me an email. And as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.